Munira can do a huge amount of work in a short period of time. We liked her lamb shank in the last round. Her couscous needed flavour. I do love Italian food. If I'm going out with my sisters, we tend to choose an Italian restaurant other than an Indian because it's simple flavours, but they all go together. And sometimes you want something different than just spice and chilli. Munira, what are you going to do for us? I'm doing a, a vanilla and saffron panna cotta with a lemon polenta cake and a semolina crumb. As a child, the panna cotta is something my mum used to make, but it wasn't called the panna cotta. It was called the halva or a faluda. When, as I grew up, I realised, oh, my God, that is a, that's a panna cotta. We've got a little bit of you in here, haven't we? Saffron. Saffron. I love saffron. But that works with Italian flavours? I think so, yeah. Saffron and vanilla go really well together. Good luck with it. Thank you. The saffron panna cotta sounds interesting. It's got a unique flavour, saffron, and it doesn't necessarily always work with the sweet things. But let's see. I don't want to scare anyone, but you've got ten minutes left. Oh, my God, I've forgotten to put my egg white in my mousse. You haven't put egg whites into your chocolate mousse? I forgot, yeah. You enough time? Yeah, I should have. I think I've rescued it, so hopefully it should be OK. One minute, 60 seconds. Mamma mia! Last touches, final touches. That's it. Stop. Finito. Munira has made a saffron and vanilla panna cotta and lemon polenta cake with a semolina crumb, lemon curd, a blackberry gel, and glazed blackberries. I must say the, uh, the panna cotta looks perfect. It's only got the wobble. That is pretty delicious, I have to say. I mean, the panna cotta was just unbelievable. The texture was incredible. The saffron works so well with the blackberries. The texture was delicious of the cake. It is absolutely brilliant. Your panna cotta, this is the star. That is stunning. And it leaves on your tongue vanilla, that sweet comfort, and saffron. You know, what you've done here is you've stretched the concept of Italy as far to India as you possibly can, but you've done it very nicely. Just love it. Properly love it. For me, best dish you've cooked so far in the competition. I'm really happy. Um, I don't think I could have asked for any better comments than what I just got. Um, the last two rounds were a bit shaky, so I really needed a round like that. Oh, well done. You smashed it. Oh, thank God. You smashed it. Thank you. Finally, Nisha is serving a tiramisu-inspired dessert. Crispy ravioli filled with vanilla mascarpone cream, a chocolate and espresso mousse, with an amaretti biscuit crumb, and chocolate shards. I love it. Really delicious. I think what's amazing is the pasta almost tastes like puff pastry. It's got the most extraordinary texture to it. The chocolate mousse, I was worried it's going to be too sweet. It's not at all. It's quite bitter, which I quite like. It doesn't resemble tiramisu. There's coffee in there and there's a bit of the masala, but as a dessert, I like it. There is absolutely no denying all the work in there. Ravioli, shards, making your own biscuits. I like the flavour of your chocolate mousse. The filling inside your ravioli, I think it's great with lots and lots of vanilla. For me, I want some sauce. You've worked really hard at this. The ravioli is very, very clever. In there, I've got a vanilla cream. Nice work, nice flavour combinations.